This is another video from Mr. Alien Spoon about Snow Leopard yet again because the other other video was shit, so I thought I'd take the time and do another video. First I want to talk to you about the boot up times and the shutting down times because they've been drastically improved when I log off. It's about because on an iMac it's a um not a not the top of the range one, but it's cool. It's got two gig of RAM, etc., etc. Well, anyway, it takes around three seconds to shut down. Um, but on the on Leopard, not Snow Leopard, just normal Leopard, it takes around twenty seconds. So that's a drastically improved one. And a, another improvement is the Finder. As you can see here in the bottom right there's a little slider thing which actually improves the icon size so if you've got bad eyesight or whatever you can see in much detail the desktop and everything so we'll go into my other partition on my hard drive and we'll have a look at QuickTime which has also been improved QuickTime 10 not X because X is the Roman numeral for 10 but yeah so we'll go into the open I'm going to desktop, um, YouTube, and we'll look at the start YouTube star get what I downloaded off someone's video. Uh, it's not a very big copy, but we'll see if we can extend it. I don't know if it'll work while it's not playing now, but look, but look it's entirely different from the other quick times. It's got a smooth Easy, uh, easy on the eye looking metallic black metallic look but look at that that's just amazing and you've got the trim feature here and the extend to full screen and I'll go ahead and show you the trim when uh, after I've shown you the video Eli Wallace Whatever you guys think that I did, I swear you got the wrong guy. We need your help, Eli. And if I don't? We'll beam you up to our spaceship. <laughs> what? Yes, that is planet Earth, and yes... And that was just one of the features that's been improved with Snow Leopard. Another improvement from QuickTime Player as it has the ability to record the screen recording, movie recording, and audio recording, which is very cool. So we'll go ahead and start screen recording from this one. See what this is like. So we'll just start doing all this and wait a while. Just Open a couple of windows or something like that. I cal. Oh, sugar. <laughs> that Pedro deleted it. Oh well. But anyway, we'll stop recording now and see what we've recorded. Amazing. HD quality. And we'll go ahead and show you the trim feature from. Oh, is it? I don't think the trim feature is actually in this. Which is weird. But anyway. And you can also. <coughs> excuse me. Preview your movie from actually this. So to go ahead. No, no, no. Eli Wallace. So, yeah. Oh. Now, I'll show you about Expose. As you've got this window open here, the Expose has been improved since the last version to be more organised and more efficient. And it's got um, a, a couple of features which I'm going to show you now. First, we're going to open multiple windows, which is Apple M. So, um, do that. 
and then we're going to open Safari a couple of times. So right, here is Expose. First it does all the Safari windows and then all the Finder windows which is quite cool because it's all very up, pretty much organised and it's set up in a nice neat way as well so look come on now if you want to go to a specific expose like find expose all you need to do is um, right or left click whatever is your primary mouse button hold it down and bam find it expose this is a great feature which I'll be using quite a lot but Anyway, the same goes for every single application. You can go Safari, and there you go. Another new feature is the um, heads up display kind of design on the new windows. It's kind of a black transparency look, which is kind of easy on the eyes and it takes up less resources from the um, app. So, yeah, that's cool. And um, I believe in the final release, the QuickTime 10 will have a different logo. Because I personally hate that logo because it's just so plain. I prefer the other one, but yeah. As you can see, the open times of these is quite phenomenal. As Oh shit, press the wrong button. <laughs> okay, I'll just do that. Get rid of all these windows. And just that. And I, when you get the new Mac, uh, well, sorry, the new Snow Leopard, you'll get a manual. And I think, I don't know if this is the official final release of the um, manual, but I'll show it you anyway. Welcome to Snow Leopard, it's in a PDF. And this is what I got with the release. Okay, if we go down, it says how to get started. You can't um, install Snow Leopard. Meet Snow Leopard, so you got new features and stuff like that, which is cool. Um, there's also another feature in Grid View and um, Stacks is scrolling, but I don't have enough applications on this partition to actually show you that. But we do have stickers, which I haven't used yet. But you can just put them on your desktop and jot down notes, which Saves it from the dashboard, I believe. Um, I don't know if there's any new stuff on here, but yeah, you can still have stickies with the effect and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it, it at the moment. So tell me what you think. If it's a crap review or whatever, just say, and I'll see if I can do a better. Cause I'm still new to this, but oh well. Thanks for watching and hope you like this video.